Hey everyone, Marty C. Slinks from Resort Center. Today I'm going to be doing a Q&A that I did promise um, a few days ago. Um, so let's begin. Now, I want to quickly address, um, considering that you guys didn't really send me a lot of comments, um, I want you guys for the next Q&A to send me as many as you could. Um, like, I sent my video, you can ask as many as you want. You can even ask to do 100 to 100 questions um it can be about anything you want anything like dc marvel um wrestling or prehistoric or animal essentially you can ask me all of that question all of those questions and um i would be glad to answer them I'm not saying this is a bad thing, I'm just saying next time when I do another of these Q&A announcements, just um, make sure to try to ask us more, that way we can have more, and it's a lot more fun. Um, yeah, so let's begin. I also want to mention, if I mispronounce your name, uh, don't blame it on me, just saying I'm a terrible pronouncer, okay? Okay. So our first question comes from Top Gig, and he asks, "What are some of your favorite comic book villains?" Well, I do have like many. I do have a lot. Um, there's Joker. There's Sinestro. There's Reverse Flash. Um, yeah. Um, there's also Loki. Uh, the Wrecking Crew, Doctor Alchemy, Maxi Zeus. Use all that dope stuff. But on top of my, my favorite, right now I don't have any for Image or Dark Horse. Um, or, yeah, one of those two. I'm not nearly as familiar. Uh, I just began learning some Image characters, essentially, so. And even some, a, I know a little bit of Dark Horse. Like, I know about Hellboy. More, or, um, Alien or Predators, I think they're part of Dark Horse, I'm not 100% sure. But I do know Alien or Predator, well, Xenomorph and Predator, I should say, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, but I don't have a villain favorite villain in Dark Horse or Image right now, but, yeah. Um... I do have a Star Wars and a Transformer film. My favorite Transformer villain is Barricade. My favorite Star Wars villain is General Grievous. So, he also asked, what are some of your favorite female comic book villains? Well, there's a lot. Of, there's Harley Quinn, though I don't like her nearly as much due to that now she's more of a hero than a villain. I'd rather her say more as a villain. There's Catwoman, Poison Ivy. Uh, Golden Glider, Shriek, um, Amora the Enchantress, uh, Cornelia, Queen of the Norse, or Laura Lelly. There's so many Marvel, there's so many female villains that I actually do like. Um, yeah. All right, here it comes from Legendary Flare Arrow, and he asks, Would you rather see a Deathstroke spinoff or Green Arrow on the Canaries? I'd rather watch a Deathstroke spinoff, um, because, um, I think we get to explore a little bit more of Slade Wilson, a little bit, um, maybe we could find out. Maybe we could see F Slade teaming up with the Flash at some point. I mean, Deathstroke and Flash have actually teamed up, I think, a few times. But I don't know. But they've been in some. But they. But Deathstroke is more of an anti-hero, being he's more of a good guy at times. I mean, but even though he's more of a villain, he's he he's a good guy at times. He does help people at times. Um. I'd say Deathstroke spinoff. Um, we can get some really cool interactions. Um, we can also get when he got the Speed Force from the comics. Um, 
Yeah, I'd rather have a Deathstroke spinoff. Green Arrow the Canaries is just a spinoff of Arrow, which ended, and I don't think having a spinoff of a show that end is, is a is a good idea because it then it kind of would ruin the show at that at that point. I don't know, but I'd rather have a Deathstroke spinoff. Legendary Flutter also has why is Malcolm Merlin your least favorite Arrow villain? Well, simple. He was just a plain, forgettable villain. Like, here's the one of my main problems. He wasn't really the main villain, a main a villain in many episodes. Like, if you rewatch RC One, you're gonna count the many times Merlin is there as like Dark Archer. You're not gonna find that many. So right now. So that's why he remains my least favorite, because if he's not in many episodes, then I generally forgot about him as a villain. Um, not to mention, he was way too overshadowed by Edward Fires, who, in my opinion, was a much better villain. Edward Fires was a great villain. To me, even uh, Merlin was overshadowed by uh, the Count, um, where... If two non-main villains are overshadowing your main villains, you know your season was bad. Mm -hmm. He also asked, why do you like the Speed Force more than Reverse Flash? Great question. Um, before Armageddon ended, mm -mm, I think I might have liked the versions a bit more, or I think I might have liked the Speed Force a little bit. But now I definitely like the Speed Force a lot more due to the fact that lately Reverse Flash is constantly overused and overshadowing villains. It's insane. Yes, was he a great villain in season one? Was he a great villain in? In season one, yeah, but you can't use him all the time. Season three and season four kind of knew that. Lately, they've been using Don Tull in the same pulp. Um, now they're essentially saying that they're going to be using Don every season. Um, and that's the problem. If you're going to use Don, just make it a cameo or a cliffhanger. Maybe say he might be at some, or as a cliffhanger, or just don't use him at all. Um, the Speed Force does get used, but not nearly as overused as Reverse Flash. In fact, I'd actually say the Speed Force is nowhere near as used as the Reverse Flash. The only t seasons that the Speed Force is used is Season 1, obviously, Season 3, Season 4. And, and I think season and, and obviously season seven. I think that's it. Where Dawn has been used season one, season two, season three, season four, season five, season six, season seven, season eight. Almost all the entire show. Like I rather, I think at this point, I think I even like Chill Blaine a lot more because at least Chill Blaine isn't overused. He isn't like, like, compare Reverse Flash to Chill Blaine. Think of Don just overshadowing a villain, and look at Chill Blaine overshadowing a villain. You can clearly tell the difference. Don overshadows actually interesting villains. Chill Blaine doesn't even overshadow one. And that's why I like the Speed Force a lot more. Legendary Flora also asks, um, are you going to rank the main villains of The Flash? Yes, I will. Yes, I have been thinking of doing it. Uh, Pace Edits asks, When will you start making good content? I know this is just a joke. Um, I do make good content. Um, if I try to make as the best content as I could. But it's really tough. Okay? Especially if you don't know what's... It's, it's been really tough for many reasons. BBBM says thoughts on No Way Home. Have I haven't seen it yet, but literally I think that movie should have been canceled 
I literally think it should have been canceled. Like, if it was Spider-Man with, say, Family Guy, or, yeah, Family Guy, or Simpsons, or American Dad, I'd be like, yeah, it's fine. I generally don't care, but at least it doesn't, at least it's something actually interesting, and actually something unique. So, um, I have to, I have to praise Marvel for at least trying something. Like, I think I'd rather watch a Spider-Man Family Guy crossover than whatever no way home is again i haven't seen it but it's sh- in my opinion it should have been canceled it should have been like a terrible idea marvel had and sh- sh- done and they were gonna make it a spider-man family guy crossover so that so yeah those are my thoughts on no way home i haven't seen them the moon yet but i'm not looking forward to it and finally legionary oh wait no i forgot uh, there's still some more questions um yeah sorry <laughs> Legionary asks, what's your favorite food? Uh, barbecue bacon cheeseburgers. Yeah, delicious. I also like, um, like pizza, tacos, Doritos, uh, fruit, um, chicken, all that stuff. But I like burgers the most. Uh, not me asks, do you have milk? No. And finally, from my real life friend, a uh, little dreadnought, he asked, um, "Have you considered writing and nearing what if if scenarios?" Yes, I have. Um, I actually have been thinking of doing some what ifs. I've been thinking of doing like some DC Marvel what ifs, like maybe like what if, like Thor became the Batman. What if um, Speed or Tom Shepard became the Flash? More also, what if um, Iron Fist became Iron Man? What if all that good stuff? I've also been thinking of doing also with history uh, at times, like maybe asking like, what if this event happened during this event? Um. Or what if this event never happened? All that stuff. Um, yeah, I have been thinking of doing what ifs. I have been considering writing it, but I have not been considering narrating yet. Um, I have not been considered about narrating, but I have considered writing. Um, all that stuff. Um, yeah. And that is it for today. We are 12 minutes so in 51 and 50 seconds. Gee, my God. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, so, um, that is it, just, rem- so, when I post another of these, um, Q&A announcements, just remember to ask as many as you could, it could be about DC, it could be about Marvel, it could be about my Marvel vs. YouTube TV show, if you have any concerns about it, and I, I would be gladly to answer it, um, I, you can also ask me some personal questions, you can ask me, li- um, um, history questions, you can ask me, um, uh, prehistoric questions, you can ask, like, dinosaurs, mammoths, all that stuff, uh, you can even ask me about wrestling if you, if you want, um, um, just, oh, remember, you can ask as many, so when I do another these Q&A announcements, which I, I'm more likely to do, I'm gonna start doing these Q&A announcements, and I'm gonna post them where you ask the question. Um, the Q&A, you, you, not really. I know a lot of people do it, but no. I think, um, it's the Q&A uh, announcement th- that makes it less stressful. So, I, I sometimes get extremely stressful when, um, YouTubers do that kind of stuff. When they make it, like, um, the Q&A, you can also ask questions, at least in the comments. You know, you get so stressful, but, um... And all that stuff, etc. So, so what do you guys think of my answers? Do you? Oh God, I don't know how to end this uh, video really. I'm just gonna say I'll see. You. Anyways, thank you for all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next.